I'm Jennifer and welcome to the forest parlor. I did an earlier video on blue lotus tea and now I would love to talk to you about blue lotus wine or dreaming wine. Doesn't that sound mysterious? Blue lotus wine is associated with dream work, deep meditation work, soul journeying, astral projection, that sort of thing. So if you're looking for an accompaniment to help you with your practices and the work that you plan on doing or are doing, blue lotus wine is something that you could consider. It is a very simple recipe and basically you take some blue lotus flower. Here we go. You want to take a look at this. Very rich in color, earthy purple, and the scent of it isn't very florally. <laughs> and the scent of it isn't very floral and flowery. It's very earthy, kind of almost mushroomy, um, definitely earthy. And the basic recipe is you take a bottle of red wine or a bottle of white wine and you add 10 to 20 grams of blue lotus flower. Now there are some cold press canning options out there, but they uh, involve a metal filter and just kind of a personal thing. You can do what you want, but I tend to like to leave metal out of it as, as much as I can. So I bought some coffee cold press filter bags and I'm going to put my blue lotus flower in these and fill a jar up of half a bottle of wine in here with 10 grams of the blue lotus flower. I'm going to do white wine in one and red wine in the other. Traditionally, you want to start the process of creating this wine during the new moon and then you let it steep and cultivate until the full moon a couple weeks later but you can leave it for a whole lunar cycle if you choose to do so. I don't think there's any hard, fast rules. Again, it's all about your intuition and what feels right for you. So let's walk through this process a little bit. I've got my jar. I'm gonna fill up the bag with some blue lotus. I've already weighed and measured this out. I'm going to close the bag and then put it in my jar. So I'm going to pour in the white wine, but I'm also going to do this with a red wine as well, but you'll get the idea of the process here. Whatever type of wine you pick, pick a dry wine. So don't go with anything too fruity or sweet. And then I'm going to seal it up. You can add other ingredients as well if you like, such as mugwort for boosting psychic ability, intuition, uh, communicating with spirits, soul journeying, astral projection, deep meditation, that sort of thing. It should be used with reverence and sparingly. This isn't for entertainment purposes. So whatever ritual you think that you want to do in the future, you know, it takes a little bit of planning, a couple weeks working with the lunar cycle, but you'll have a nice ritual component. I I think that when you ingest something such as a tea or a ceremonial wine, it's one of the more direct things that you can do. I mean, you're taking something into your body and your body is absorbing it. It's kind of irreversible. So do so with respect and of course responsibly. I'm going to put this wine on my altar for the next two weeks. I'm stirring it a bit daily. I'm not going to open it up. And when you do so, just Fill it with some good intentions. Blue Lotus is considered to be associated with a subtle connection to the divine spirit. It's very calming, it's very anti-anxiety, and it should be used in those sort of practices. Do your research. There's plenty to read up on on the Blue Lotus flower and what the active chemicals in it are. I wish you the best of energy, whether it be deep introspective work, meditation work, any activities you do to seek that higher understanding and that connection with yourself and nature. 
So what do you think of Blue Lotus wine? Are you curious about trying it? Have you tried it? I would love to hear your stories. If you have, please leave a comment on my video. And while you're there, please like, share, and subscribe because those little actions really do make a big difference in supporting my channel and my work. That is it for now. Thank you for spending your time with me. Please take care and visit me again in the forest parlor.